What's going on everyone? Joshua of Florida Love of Games. And in front of me here today, I have a package that was sent to me by Kiwi Design. Now in this package is an upgraded Elite Head Strap made for the Oculus Quest 2. And honestly, it's kind of hard to believe they fit an Elite Head Strap inside this packaging, but that is one of the things we're going to find out today in this video. Now for full disclosure and transparency, Kiwi Design did send me over this head strap to review. And I agreed to do a review on this product as long as I could have full creative freedom with the video and give my honest thoughts and opinions about the product. They agreed and they sent me over this head strap. And for that, I want to say thank you to Kiwi Design for giving me this opportunity. Now, let's get into the unboxing. And let's get into this box and see what it's all about. And I am curious to see if there is a full head strap inside this packaging. I can hardly believe that there is a full, complete head strap inside here. Now, right on top, we have a little user's manual for a replaceable head strap for the Oculus Quest 2. And I'm pretty sure we can figure it out from there. But if you guys need it, there's that. Now, let's get into the actual packaging itself. Now, the box is quite slim, so to see this inside of it is quite surprising, actually. And let's see. Oh, there it is. It's the back head strap. Here's the back part of it. Okay, pay attention to left and right. Make sure to install in the correct direction. Now, let's see what's under here. Oh, and we have a nice little neoprene hedge pet pad here. Oh, that's really nice. So that's how they were able to get it inside of a such a slim box. It came in two different pieces, is easily installed, clicks, snaps in place, and it's still nice and light and durable, honestly. So my first impression with this head strap is that it seems like it's very good build quality. Like even the ratcheting mechanism sounds like it's very good and clicky and fine. It's not very grating or gritty at all. You guys can probably hear that. So it, it sounds like it'd be a good sturdy ratcheting mechanism there and not going to be coming loose on you anytime soon. And one of the key features here they wanted me to point out was the padding on this thing. Now the padding seems very soft and supple and it's very couch like, like leather couch like. It's even got like a le little uh, leatherette finish to it. So that's what I'm going to equivalent this to. It's like, like sitting on a nice, nice comfy leather, leather couch. That's what this is. So it's leather couch for your head. And the back padding here is the same feels nice and soft and cushy. So I'm actually excited to get this thing on my head and see how this thing actually feels and how comfortable it is to actually wear. But the strap here on top feels pretty sturdy and durable. It doesn't seem like it's going to rip, tear, or give you any problems. It's very leatherish material here, like a, a full leather. And it just feels very, very good. The other thing here that they wanted me to point out was there's a 52 degree hinge here. Now, this hinge allows you to take the Oculus Quest 2 on and off a little bit more easily. Now, if you guys are taking on, on and off your Oculus Quest 2, the hinges on the Quest 2 itself are pretty stiff and they do loosen up over time, but it's still cumbersome at times. Now, the, what this is supposed to do is allow you to take it on and off easily with a much softer closing hinge. And it is pretty, pretty soft closing. It's not very tough to move, but only time will tell how long it's going to last and how long it's going to hold up. But for now, it's pretty good first impressions are really good on that and even the plastic on it the other thing is the plastic like the little straps here on the side they don't seem like they're gonna be too big too bulky too thick but they do seem very flexible and pliable like they're gonna last a little while like you don't have to worry about breaking the oculus quest 2 head strap but overall this design it looks like it's going to be a, uh, a pretty good product but only time will tell so now i'm going to go wear this thing for about a week test it out and I'll be back with my final thoughts and review on this product. I'll see you guys in about a week. Well, for you, like two seconds, but for me, a week. Two weeks later. All right, so I've been testing the Kiwi Design Elite head strap on the Oculus Quest 2 for about two weeks now. There's a lot of good things going on here, but there is one thing that's a negative in my opinion. It's small, but it's there. Before we get started, I want to mention that Meta does offer an Elite head strap that is comparable in price. So this begs the question, what else are you getting if you were to purchase the Kiwi Design head strap over the Elite head strap from Meta themselves? Well, the first thing is comfort. At first, I was a little leery about the Kiwi strap only because the Meta Elite strap is already super comfortable over the stock cloth head strap. But after using the Kiwi Design Elite head strap, I honestly have to say that this is one of the most comfortable head straps I've used in a long time. The extra padding on the top and the rear of the head strap makes for a much more comfortable wearing experience. And like I said in the unboxing portion of this video, it's like wearing a leather couch in your head. It's soft, it's squishy, and the padding allows you to wear the Quest 2 for longer periods of time without feeling fatigued in any way. 
Another thing you get with this head strap are the 52 degree hinges that are on the side, which honestly do work as intended. Having these side hinges there really do make it easier to put on and take off the Quest 2, as they are far easier to move than the swivel points that are built into the Oculus Quest itself. At first, I honestly thought it was just going to be some gimmick that they added, just to make some arbitrary claim as to why it's better than the Meta Elite strap. But I was pleasantly surprised in how well it actually works. I was so surprised that I would honestly call for Meta to update their own design and add this hinge to it for any future Quest devices. This is a game changer in my opinion. And the last point I want to hit is how easy it is to install, with the exception of one part. The outer box assembly was literally a snap, and installing it onto the Quest 2 head strap rails is just as easy. The part that gave me the most trouble was feeding this top head strap into the loop onto the Oculus Quest 2. I fought with this thing for like 5 minutes or so, just trying to feed it through. I actually had to get a pick tool in the loop just to help me get it started. What I would like to see in future revisions of this product is a smaller, flimsier piece of material at the front of the top strap like the Meta Elite head strap has. This definitely helps with feeding the strap through the loop without the use of a pick of any kind. And honestly, that's the only real negative thing I have to say about the head strap. So to answer the question that I posed in the beginning of this review portion, is there any reason to purchase the Kiwi head strap over the Meta version even though they are roughly the same price? And honestly, I would have to say, yes. What you're getting with the Kiwi strap is a very well thought out design that adds a lot of features and comfort that Meta just hasn't really offered to us yet. So yeah, overall this is a very well thought out product, it's very comfortable, it's very easy to install, and honestly, this is probably the best head strap that I've used in a long time. Actually, it is the best head strap I've used in a long time. If you guys want any more information about the Kiwi Design Elite head strap, or if you've already made up your mind and you want to purchase one for yourself, then head on down to the description below. There you'll find the Kiwi Design website and some Amazon affiliate links which help out the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time guys, I'm Joshua Ford Love of Games, signing out. Have a great day.